<laughs> so, stress and chronic pain are completely tied in. I mentioned this study earlier, but you know, this study showed that stress long term is more of a risk factor for cancer and heart disease than cholesterol, smoke, uh, cholesterol smoking. So what do you smoke? Cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette smoking or high cholesterol foods. What, what happens in the stress response is our posture takes on a very characteristic look. It goes something like this. Like it's not that much for everybody, but the shoulders creep up, the head comes forward, and we start to shrink. We literally start to cover up. It's the protective response, which is that we want to intimidate our enemies and protect our vital organs. So little by little, and then we're at computers all day, and then we're in the cars, and then we're on our phones. So we have all these things, but our body actually goes into this protective mode due to a perception of danger. Everybody make sense? Has anybody noticed posture in themselves or other people? There's great studies done on posture and how we view ourselves. People with poor posture tend to have a poor image of themselves. People with better posture tend to have a really good image of themselves. Posture is not only tied into how we feel about ourselves, it's actually tied into how our body works. In men, a study was done that showed that height loss associated with poor posture increased their risk for a heart attack by 42%. And they didn't have a history of it previously in their medical history, like their family didn't have it. Less confidence, poor stress management, life's like a broken record. It actually changes the way our brain functions. And coronary events happen every 25 seconds, and it's usually the first symptom, right? Usually the first symptom of a heart attack is death. So, now, studies show that when posture changes, meaning, this says in sort of medical language, all measures of health status showed significantly poorer scores as C7 plumb line deviation increased. Basically means this. As the head moves forward, every... Oh, I don't even like doing that. Everything in our health suffers. Digestive problems, cardiac problems, high blood pressure, headaches, mood changes. Spine, by the way, is not a woo-woo journal. That's the most prestigious journal of the spine for spine doctors and surgeons in the world. The Journal of American Geriatric Society said older men and women with hyperkyphotic posture, that's this, you see, you know, this happens, this starts in old people when they're in their 20s and 30s. And as it gets worse and worse, they have higher mortality rates, meaning, unfortunately, they don't live as long. But then the problem is, is most, did you know that the average senior citizen in the United States is on 15 different medications? Who here wants to be on 15 medications? And then the problem is, is you save your whole life. Most people save most of their money their whole lives only to spend the, the vast majority of it in the last few years trying to stay alive. When you weren't even living for the previous 60 years because you were like living in today, tomorrow or yesterday. Stress response. Now, your central nervous system is very, very cool. It consists of your brain and your spinal cord. There's not a single cell in your body that your nervous system doesn't go to. Not a single one. Um, if you were to take my nerves out of my body and paste them together in one line, it would go 15 miles. It conducts every single signal from your brain to every single cell and back up, and it's all happening like this. Just in my saying that sentence, you had over 200,000 nerve firings. Isn't that cool? You don't even have to think about it. There's this amazing intelligence in our bodies. Like, when you cut your finger, let's like there's this whole paramedic system and it goes there instantaneously and knows exactly what to do. When we're in the stress response, our ability to do that decreases. And we... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. There was... <laughs> There was a study done at the University of Pennsylvania when they looked at 96% of disease organs in autopsies, so dead bodies, they looked at disease organs. And 96% of those disease organs were all directly related to stress and the effects of the nerves coming from the spine. The, the thing is, is like a lot of this stuff, we don't actually know how stress is affecting our lives unless we kind of measure it, unless we get checked. So we don't. We, we don't know if stress has affected us neurologically. We don't know how it's affecting us really unless we measure it. And that's, that's basically what I do. I help people understand how stress has affected their life. So one, we can undo the damage that's been done to help stop shooting ourselves in the foot for the future so that you can have less pain, more energy, and a quality of life beyond what you ever dreamt was possible. So that you can do more in your life to help others. That's what my passion is. Does that make sense?
That would be me. You can find me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and Twitter. And YouTube. What, what is the point of Twitter anyway? I don't get it. I, every day I go and I says, it says, Joe Schmo is now following you on Twitter. Huh? Or the weird ones. So it's important to take care of our spine. You know, 70 to 80% of all health disorders involve the spine. You know, we saw from the Windsor uh, autopsies. And, and so to be healthy, our spine must be maintained. This guy got his um, Nobel Peace Prize in 1981. And he said that the basic healthy motion of the spine is what creates nutritional um, and electrical nutrition for the, it, it, it's what feeds the brain electricity and nutrition. So to be moving and for our brains to be healthy and to feel good, we have to move, right? But you know if you sit all day, you're just kind of like at the end of the day, you know, or 2.30. Have you seen the five hour energy ads? You know, 2.30, everyone's like, <laughs> like first of all, of course they're tired. Do you see where they work? Like you see these cubicles and all these. Uh, Plus it says five hour energy. It's going to last all day. Yeah, exactly. Five hours of energy. I say have eight hours of awesome sleep and the rest pretty good energy all the time. Naturally coming from within that you have all the time so that you're more adaptable to stress. So that no matter what comes your way, no matter what shows up in your life, you can really be the ideal person that you want to be. And then keep growing. You know, Tony Robbins calls it Kanai, that there's constant and never-ending improvement. That we're always growing, we're always upgrading, we're always changing. So a lot of this happens through the spine. You know, everybody knows, well, a lot of people know that chiropractic is helpful for low back pain and neck pain and other things, but most people don't know that it's probably one of the finest things we can do to help adjust the stress response in our bodies. And so it can help a lot with asthma, allergies, digestive problems, fibromyalgia, sinus problems, migraines. And then it's just really about improving the immune system. It's about improving the metabolic system. It's about really changing fatigue and, and helping our bodies adapt to stress. Because again, there's nothing that doesn't go through the nervous system. 